Parenting, a program that has helped homeless Vermonters for more than a year during the pandemic, was supposed to expire on Thursday. But today, the state extending that program for 30 days. NBC5's Brianna Borgie is in the newsroom tonight with more on what this means for people using this program. Brianna. Brian, Alice, I've been covering this story for the last several days. After the governor announced he's extending the program another 30 days, I checked in with a woman who relies on this program. Does this mean every 30 days until uh, the state gets its act together, or is this just straight up 30 days and we're out of here? Kathleen Marsha says she's grateful for the extra time she has in her hotel, but still... It's not a fix. It's a little band-aid for right now but we're going to work with what we have at the moment. The hotel motel voucher program was set to expire on Thursday and would have forced hundreds of people out of their rooms. But now Governor Phil Scott says the program will be extended for 30 days. We just want to make sure we take this pause uh, to make sure that we all agree on the path forward. Homeless advocates saying that's the right move. The way forward for that is to say that I'm going to keep people in these hotels um, until the end of December or until there's transitional or permanent housing. FEMA will reimburse the cost of the program through the end of the year. The state is offering $2,500 to any household that chooses to leave their hotel. Brenda Siegel says that's not right. Offering them or bribing them with $2,500 in exchange for their shelter is just inhumane. And Marsha says $2,500 won't go far. We did the math and it wouldn't even last 28 days at a motel. She's not giving up. Just means it gives me more time to fight for my rights, which I am appreciative of that. Marsha tells me the extension helped relieve some of her stress, but at the same time, she says without enough money to rent a place, she could still end up on the street in 30 days. Live in the newsroom, Brianna Borgie, NBC5 News.